Hi everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, have I got a video for you. Now, story time. I was walking my little dog along the street and something caught my eye. I thought, is it a tumbleweed? Is it hair extensions? What is it? I got up there and upon close inspection, I saw it was a wig. But we have a video clip to show you. So let's roll that clip of this discovery. Okay, so as I sit here walking the dog, say hi, Puff. Puff, Puff, say hi. Mwah. Look what I found. It's a wig. Do I take it? I think I'm gonna take it. We're taking it. Wow! Yes, I found a wig on the street here in Las Vegas. Yeah, we're doing it again, y'all. Oh my God, I haven't done this since Milwaukee, Wisconsin, like around Halloween time. I found like a Chucky wig on the ground and we transformed that. Well, I don't know what it is. People just don't wanna hold on to red hair because I found yet another red wig. <laughs> and honey, I have washed her and I'm still picking twigs out of her as we speak. Like I've washed her three times now. Okay, so it is a wig, a beautiful burgundy from what looks like a cosplay wig. Let's dump her in, start washing it. I don't know what it is. I always find red wigs on the street. All right, we're gonna wash her and dry her and then we're gonna start styling her. But this is her, she is a bang wig. It's like a cosplay wig almost. It's got a little skin top on it. This is her and there is a lot of teasing in it, like especially in the back. Like the back of this wig is tangled inside of the wig. There's a lot going on. So I know what you guys are thinking. I think James should try this wig on. Well, today is your lucky day. I'm gonna put this wig on my head that I found on the ground and then we're gonna transfer a wig that I found outside. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I can see why this was on the ground. Yeah, oh boy. It looks like I got into a fight. <laughs> yes, this is the wig and honey, she's lived a life. I don't know what life she's lived, but oh my goodness. Yeah, there are some definite nests inside of this wig. I Hopefully it's just, you know, a nest of hair and nothing else. Yeah, I mean, she is a shout though. Look at this, a beautiful burgundy color. Like I said, no one wants to hold on the red wigs, apparently. They always are found discarded on the ground. <sighs> no one wants to be a redhead nowadays. <laughs> yeah, this is her. I feel like there's some potential here. Other than all, like after washing it out, it seems like pretty decent quality hair. It looks like, you know, probably a wig store wig. So I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna put it on the head and transform <laughs> it. Welcome back. All right, this is the wig all on the head. Let's start styling it, okay? Now I have here some wig detangler. We gotta work out some kinks here, honey, because there's a lot going on here. My goodness, just douse that right now. Yeah, the water on this wig was so dirty. Oh my gosh. Like she had definitely lived a life. Like there is lots of product buildup in it, so I had to really wash it and wash it good. But so far, I mean, it was taken pretty well care of because like it's only a few nests here. It's gonna be a bit of work to get them out, but I think we can do it, okay? And as far as like compared to the other wig goes, just from what I'm seeing right now, it's definitely a lot nicer quality than the last one. That last one seemed like a costume wig that like someone decided after Halloween was done, they said, you know what? Halloween is over. <laughs> now, one of the things people always send me is whenever they see wigs on the street, they always take pictures of it and send them to me, which I love, because I guess, you know, I've built up that reputation about myself now <laughs> that I'll work with just about anything. And it's true. I will. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, there are some knots in this baby. And there's like, here I'll show you. I probably have to give it a haircut because the very bottom of it is very tangled, but it's also caught up in the tracks inside the cap. So I'm probably gonna have to cut that whole section right here. But we're gonna cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, we gotta worry about the surface level here first. <laughs> Okay, what's all on the surface? Yeah, we're gonna have to fight through some knots here. As thrilling as this is to watch, I'm gonna speed this up. I'll be right back when a hair is all detangled. We actually can like do something with it. So I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, we are back. The wig is all detangled and I even ran a steamer through it. This is her, Whoa. okay? Like she's given like a Silk Spectre from the like Watchmen movie. Like kind of that kind of vibe. Like she's not bad. Like she's actually kind of a cute wig. <laughs> However, the ends are totally fried, so I'm probably gonna have to give her a haircut and decide what hairstyle I'm gonna put in her. And considering she is like a really hard bang with like no sideburn section, I can't really do her hairline on it. So she's gonna have to be a bang wig. So what we're gonna do first is give her a haircut. I think we'll take her from Silk Spectre, you know, of the current day 
and take her to Silk Spectre of the past. You know, senior Silk Spectre. Sally Jupiter, if you will. Oh my God, all the Watchmen fans out there are like going nuts right now with these references. <laughs> I loved the movie, by the way. Like, I loved all the aesthetics and everything. I know some people were kind of divided on it, but I loved the movie, okay? All right, so first things first, let's give her a haircut. We're gonna go for like more of a vintage set, so I'm going to cut a U into this. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I'll hold it up so you see the U. There's our U, so you can see. It goes like curving downward all the way back. Like that. Horseshoe, if you will. These bangs are really like, there's not a lot going on here, so. I'm gonna pull some to the front and they're gonna be our little supporting bangs. A support bang, if you will. It's gonna start brushing some forward and you're gonna get incorporated with the final hairdo. She's gonna look like Cousinette when I turn her around, my gosh. How do we feel about the Wednesday series? I liked it, I did. I'm waiting for a season two. That's my problem with like Netflix shows is like, girl, they never update fast enough. I'm always waiting like four years for the next season. And by that time, I moved on. It's like, I don't even know who these people are anymore. It's like, you know, you're constantly getting switched to schools because your parents are in the military or something, you know? It's just like, I feel like I never have friends. <laughs> yeah. Let me just do this and pull it forward. And we're gonna basically clip you away and you're gonna be part of the bangs and you're gonna like it. Cause when you look at like Betty Page's hair and people like that, the bangs were a huge part of it but they also are like not naturally formed. Like they were man-made, okay? <laughs> no one's bangs grow in like that. Girl, let me tell you, I ran this thing through wash, dry, Lysol, everything. I sprayed the cap with alcohol, everything. Cause girl, it's a Las Vegas street wig. I don't know what it has, okay? You don't know what this thing is carrying. Now, I'm gonna put this baby into rollers. Let's do it. And then when I'm done with you, I'm gonna steam you. I was like, with this hairstyle, like in this color, it's gonna be serving like a full on, like Viva Las Vegas, modern vintage kind of fashion. Like she's gonna look like such a rockabilly girl, which an aesthetic I truly love. And if you love that aesthetic too, be sure and check out my Depop I just started, girlies. Because I'm selling a lot of my modern vintage dresses that I've worn here on this channel. Okay. Speaking of channels, let me just get all out of the way right now. Um, I started a secondary channel where I will be doing videos out of a drag it's just James, okay? And we're gonna be talking about whatever obsession I have at the moment. I just did a video on Jessica Simpson and how she slayed at this concert in Jacksonville back in 2000. A moment in time that I feel people have forgotten. All right, let's put this girl in some rollers. Let's do it. Let's give her a glam day. We're gonna give this street wig a diva day. Oh my God, whatever happened to diva day girl? Does anyone know? Like from, you know, Toddlers and tiaras, I'm gonna be late for Diva Day. I loved her. Do we know what happened to her? All right, I'm gonna put her in a roller set and I'll be. <laughs> She's teasing up nicely. Like I said, it's. I'm guessing if I had to place it, it must be like a beauty shop kind of wig. Which again, the beauty shops have been stepping it up. Like the wigs are not what they used to be. Like I remember if you got a hard front from them, there was like five tracks in it and the hair was like this horrible texture that would tangle instantly. Oh my God, and the lace fronts, girl, the lace fronts. Oh, horror stories with lace fronts. Like texture of lace, like a fence you would put on your door. Okay? Like they itched and they were horrible. <laughs> I remember there was a time in my life where like I was convinced they were better than fabric lace fronts. Not, not, that is not the case. Like I was lying to myself several times. Okay, now we're starting to counter a little bit of tangling. <laughs> Even with the steamer and everything, she still has a little fight left in her. Okay, girl, calm down. You're gonna get styled. You're gonna, you're gonna. <clears throat> Cut some layers in this girl. She's kind of long, especially up top. I gotta say, I'm very surprised the wig does not smell. Like even when I grabbed it from like the area I found it, and I'll be fully honest with you, it was in the AstroTurf, which is like the miniature dog park along the streets. <laughs> so I was very concerned that it might've been peed on. It does not smell like pee. So that is a plus. That is a big major plus as far as, you know, finding wigs on the floor go. Okay, so she's teasing up. We got something going here. I'm gonna try and go for like a nice little modern vintage kind of flair. Like a girl that would be attending Viva Las Vegas, which I plan to attend this year, okay? I, don't, I love that kind of scene. I wanna get more involved with it, honestly. Now I've been living here for two years, like there's just scenes I have to start like getting involved with. I wanna do more like rockabilly stuff because that is a cool culture. Like I got a little bit involved when I did the modeling with Rock and Betty. And just like, those girls are so cool. And it's like, I love the idea of like taking something from the past and just taking the clothes. That's all you want. You know, you can have everything else. <laughs> the clothes were nice. That's all we want. We don't need any of that, you know, 
way of life or way of thinking. Just take the fashions. That's all it's worth taking from that. All right, I'm gonna tease her a bit more and I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, we are styling her up and baby, she has been a journey. But I'm a little proud of where she's ending up so far. Like that's the bang section so far. Like she's looking cute. She's looking cute. We're gonna try our best to do like a modern, like bionic Betty. That's what we're gonna do. But no, she is teasing up to something very, very pretty. I'm actually kind of liking it. This is probably gonna be a really pretty wig. The bottom, even after the haircut, is still, you know, fighting me a lot. So, you know, there is that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. She is going to be beautiful and everyone is going to be mad. It's given like Betty Page meets Tempest Storm. Oh my God, Tempest Storm. Las Vegas legend, sadly no longer with us, but baby, she was doing burlesque up until her 80s. Okay, that is impressive. Like she was out there shaking it with the rest of them. Like she loved it. The Miss Exotic World pageant, baby. She was always there. And like she goes all the way back, back, back to like the 1950s. Like, you know, she was in those movies with Betty Page for Irving Claw, which are fascinating and hilarious. <laughs> like the way they like recorded, you know, like kinky, fetishy kind of stuff back then, it cracks me up. Cause it's all so innocent now in like today's lens. It's always just like, I'm walking around in lingerie. <laughs> or look at how high my shoes are. <laughs> like it's so tame in comparison to today. Like the idea of wearing a six inch stiletto pump was like so shocking back then. Like people went, people went to jail for selling magazines that had that in there. <laughs> that is so wild to think about today. But yeah, I used to have a whole DVD full of like those Irving Claw movies, like but like Teaserama, Pleasurama, and like honestly, all it is is just like Tempest Storm and Betty Page, like walking around in pretty costumes. <laughs> it's literally a fashion show, or it's like ten minutes of Tempest Storm like brushing her hair to really bad classical music. <laughs> And interesting enough, there was actually a drag queen entertainer that was like a known burlesque star back then, Vicky Starr. She was in one of those movies. I think it was like Teaserama or Stripperama. Really fascinating stuff. Like drag illegal when that was happening, but there she was working, circuit girl. They found a way. Where there is a will, there is a way. She's looking pretty. She needs to get teased up a little bit more and fixed here and there, but the balance is almost there. I'm very pleased. She's kind of giving like poison ivy from the cramps right now, which I'm living for, okay? The cramps? Okay. Can we talk? Bikini girls with machine guns? Like a bad girl should? So many good ones. I mean, there's more than just goo goo muck, okay? The cramps, get into them. Baby, it's Betty, yes! But like the drag version. Because Betty Page wigs, I don't know what it is. Like every time I style them like as proper, they never look right on my head. Like my head looks huge in them. So we're doing the drag version. We're sizing it up for my big old head. All righty. I think we're just about there. I just got to brush her out some, but she is pretty much styled. I'm going to fix her up a little bit more and we'll be right back with the final results. <laughs> Come back, this is the final result. Oh my God, girl, I look like Midge from the 90s. Like the Midge, like Barbie's friend from like, you know, the 90s. She had the best hair and like the prettiest face. Love that doll. Oh my God, like this actually turned out really cute. The wig actually was very salvageable, it turns out. And I have to say, despite the fact that it was full of twigs, it is James Mansfield approved. <laughs> now I gotta see what girl wants to buy it off of me. <laughs> Who out there has no standards? Now I have to take a moment, a then moment where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Christine, thank you Christine, Kenneth, thank you Kenneth, Patrick, and Brittany. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo. I appreciate you guys so much, oh my gosh. I also have some YouTube super thanks from Lee, thank you so much Lee, and Martha, thank you Martha. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and the YouTube super thanks. Now this was a lot of fun, honestly, like far as finding a wig on the ground goes, oh my God, like this was actually a godsend. This is really pretty. Oh my God, it doesn't even look like the same wig. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for watching this nonsense. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, I have a brand new channel. It's called It's Just James, okay? Where I talk about pop culture moments that I'm obsessed with, okay? Get to know, you know, the man behind the Mansfield. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, 
Bye. Now hit the outro. Click here and see me style a drag queen wig from Amazon. Or watch It's Just James, okay, where I talk about that time Jessica Simpson slayed. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll make you wear a wig off the ground. So click it.